Hey everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, we will be changing the look of our Windows 11 like Microsoft Surface Desktop just like this. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. Okay, so the very first thing that we will be doing, we will be changing the wallpaper. For that, you will be getting the link in the description. You will have to come to this website. And I will be taking this wallpaper. But if you want to go with any other, then you can scroll down and look for other wallpaper. Alright, so in order to download, you will have to hold up on download. And from here, you can download 4K, Full HD or 2K. So click on it. And once it gets downloaded, click on the downloaded file. Right click on it. Put up on set as and click on set as background. All right, so now if we go back, so you can see the wallpaper has been changed. And now next, you have to come to the Rain Meter website. Once you come up here, you will have to click on download and it will be quickly downloaded. So click on the downloaded file. Then you need to click on OK. Click on Next. Click on Install. Click on Yes. Click on Finish. Once it will be done, you will see this all kind of widget. So what you have to do, just make a right click on it. Click on load skin. Do the same with the other. Alright, so once you have downloaded the rain meter, next you will be getting the Google Drive link in the description. You will have to download this file. And this will be downloaded in a zip file. So open the downloaded folder. Right click on it. Click on extract all. Click on extract. And surface theme file folder will be up. Just make a double click on it and here you will find Surface 3.1 Nord Mac OS menu. So you need to make a double click on it. Then click on install. Do the same with the other one. Double click on it. Click on install. Once done, let's go back to the desktop. And you will find this kind of navigation. Alright, so now what you have to do, you need to hide the desktop icon. So right click on the desktop. Hold up on view. Click on show desktop icon, uncheck it. And this you need to drag on the right hand side. Or you can also drag on the left hand side wherever you want to. And the top menu, we will be dragging this at the bottom. Okay, now next click on this system tray icon at the right hand corner. Look for the rain meter icon and click on it. Now here from the left hand menu option, you will find surface tree. Just make a double click on it. And here you have to look for all the application that you want to be listed on the right hand side. Okay, so for example, I will list Google. I will select it. Then click on load. And it will be listed here. So I will again drag it on the right hand side. Next, I will go with Microsoft Edge. Select it. Click on load. And then drag on the right hand side. Next is the music. Select it. Click on load. Drag this on the right hand side. So it's all up to you, whichever you want to take, you can just drag on the right hand side. You can also do the same with the settings because it's useful for the desktop. So I will drag the setting also on the right hand side. So once you are done, now you will have to click on close. Now next you have to come to another website. Again, you will be getting the link in the description of Omnimo 10. Here you have to click on download. And here you can go either with the full version or the light version. I will be going with the full one. So I will click on download zip. And the file will be quickly downloaded and it will be downloaded in a zip file. So click on the downloaded folder. Right click on the zip file. Click on extract all. Click on extract. Now here you have to click on the Omnimo file. This is a setup file. So just make a double click on it. And this kind of page will be up. Now here you have to uncheck apply included layout. Uncheck this option. And then click on install. Again, open the rain meter by clicking on the system tray icon and click on the rain meter icon. This time you will find the WP7 on the left hand side. Double click on it. Click on launcher.ini. Click on load. Now you'll find a plus icon on the left hand side. You will have to click on it. And this will bring up many different options here. So here from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on text items. 
click on clock news now you can close it and this clock news you can drag it on the left hand side or the, on the right hand side wherever you want to now you can adjust all these icons here and we can close the rain meter now okay now it looks pretty cool and we are only remaining with the final step here where we have to just uh, remove this taskbar at the bottom so right click on the taskbar click on taskbar settings click on taskbar behavior and check this option of automatically hide the taskbar close it now you can drag this at the bottom and now you're all done so now you can see that we have a pretty cool look of our desktop of our windows 11 and from here only we can access many different options like we can click on settings and this will bring up the setting on our computer we can bring up any of the application any kind of browser you can even access any of these icons here you can click on youtube icon and it will bring up the youtube application so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye